What's up, guys? Michael with Michael Talks Metal. We did it. Episode 150. Amazing. Three years, 50 videos a year, skipping two weeks a year. Here we are, 150. Feels great. Thank you guys for the support. Appreciate you watching. Keep it up because we'll be sticking around. Just to bring us back full circle, let's get to it, right? Last week, we showed a test report for an aluminum 7075 alloy in a T7351 temper, manufactured to AMS 4124. Here's the alloy and temper, as you can see here, and the spec down here. Moving along, we also show the mechanical properties. And we have something reported as COND and then the percentage sign IACS on the same line as those mechanicals. So, COND for conductivity, right? Electrical conductivity, as we can see. What does electrical conductivity have to do with the mechanical properties? Good question. Stay tuned if you'd like to find out the answer. The requirements for this temper, T7351, include a minimum for the mechanical properties, but it is also an overage temper for increased resistance to stress corrosion. The additional aging at higher temperatures increases the electrical conductivity of the alloy. The combination of satisfying the minimum strength requirements and a minimum conductivity requirement of 40% IACS assure that the material will perform as required. Sounds simple so far, but wait. The test report actually shows 38.7, as you can see here. Now, when the conductivity is below 40%, we have to look at the yield strength. So let's move on over and take a peek. And again, if the conductivity is also between 38 and 39.9, and the yield does not exceed the 56.0 KSI minimum by more than 11.9 KSI, the product is acceptable, okay? In our example, our yield strength is reported at 59.1 KSI, and the minimum is 56.0 KSI. So we have conforming material. Typically, the conductivity is required to be measured on the same sample used for tensile testing. When there are multiple tensile tests, each sample is also tested for conductivity. Multiple samples, multiple tensile tests, makes sense. So before I let you go, what exactly does IACS mean? IACS is the International Annealed Copper Standard. Conductivity is then expressed as a comparative percentage of this arbitrarily selected standard. That's going to do it for today. So I'm going to remind you once again, the specifications and part requirements can alter what we have shown you here today. And so for the 150th time, I'm going to remind you to check the specs right mm. all right so this is michael with michael talks metal thank you guys for watching if you need any more information on aluminum alloys tempers anything check the website for more info appreciate it and again thank you so much for tuning in thank you for the support missed last week's video there it is. Take a peek. Still in here and haven't subscribed? Help support the channel. Thank you. See you guys same time, same place next week. 10 a.m. YouTube. I'm out. <laughs>